Hey yo, so I just finished reading Abnormal Psychology. It, this is a textbook. Uh, just so you know, this last bit here, this small little bit here, is still about uh, 80 or so pages. Uh, that is all index and glossary and bibliography. That's all index, glossary, and bibliography. So I'm, I finished reading the book. I didn't go through the index. I didn't go through the glossary. I didn't go through the bibliography. I don't feel the need to do that. Not at this point in time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, this book, Abnormal Psychology, this was published in 2008. It was published in 2008, and it concerns abnormal psychology. Abnormal psychology is the psychology uh, of when things go wrong in the brain. <clears throat> For example, mental, Ill mental illness, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, bipolar disorder, uh, all, all sorts of stuff. Um, now, this book differentiates itself from other books uh, by firstly providing a, a couple of different perspectives uh, that, that uh, it uses to judge uh, mental illness and uh, to judge uh, the, uh, the kinds of therapies that can be provided, the kinds of treatments that can be provided. And one of these uh, perspectives is actually biological. This would be the, uh, the argument from people who believe that genes are everything, uh, that uh, you are totally out of control, uh, your biology is in 100% of control of your actions. Uh, of course that's nonsense, but that perspective does provide us with something along the lines of medication. Uh, psychiatry and pharmacology are uh, both sciences which arose out of the biological perspective on psychology. <clears throat> now, this book is, uh, it's not exactly as I thought it would be, okay? I was expecting a little bit more comprehensive uh, details on, on more rare uh, disorders, but I guess I'm going to have to get the DSM in order to do that. Um, other than that, very interesting, very applicable, very practical textbook. This book is by is the fifth edition by Ronald J. Comer, and it has probably some other authors and editors and whatnot as well. Uh, they usually do. Textbooks usually do. So I finished reading this book, and now I'm on to reading other books. I'm about to be published on a new website. <clears throat> um, hopefully... That'll happen within the next three days or so, because uh, I'm getting a little antsy. Um, after that, I oh, I, I already have a couple of articles ready to go for that website. But after that, I'm going to be getting my book written, and my book is going to be published, and my book is going to be around 100 pages long, give or take 30. That's the goal for the year. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace.